I kind of want it. I haven't been out in the garage in like like uh since I did the uh, oil on the uh, on the Jeep Willys. So uh, I've been kind of excited to kind of come out, kind of open the door, get a get in another impression of it, see how much got soaked into the paint, and uh, just kind of kind of see how it hits me. So uh, I'm gonna do that real quick. Whew, it's nice and smelly in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Man, does that look good. Man, oh man, does that ever look good. You can really, really tell it, it soaked in. Kind of soaked in in some of these areas. Uh, but it definitely pops like the rustiness out. Uh, let me go around to the front here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Huh. I like to work out in the garage every chance I get and film. Um, but today, my uh, my wife unit uh, requires some attention. Um, so uh, we're just going to kind of go ahead and exclusively uh, probably take the Jeep out. And uh, she, she'll put up a little fight when I say I want to take the Willys. But um, it does have decent heat. And, uh, you know, it'll give me a chance to put a few miles on it. I'm going to do a couple things out here today, um, so I'll kind of go go toward work towards that. I only got about an hour, um, but I'm going to get a get a little bit of work in here. All right, guys. So one of the things that's been really, really, really bugging me is uh, that my CJ uh, leaks a ton of oil. Uh, it just massive amount of oil, and uh, so it started to leak less oil. <laughs> so. I'm gonna do a little bit of work on this today and see if I can uh, kind of kind of close in on on what's been going on with it. All right, so it looks like at least from what I can tell, most of the oil is coming from the speedo cable. I also noticed that the speedo cable has been up against the exhaust and it's melted a little bit, but it does still work. So I'm gonna zip tie that up a little bit higher. First things first. Burn myself on the light. I already had this off, that's why it's loose. All right, real quick, I have a, uh, I ended up having a metric bolt in there. They're very similar. It's like 5 16ths, uh, 20 or something. Um, so, uh, hoping the drive shaft threads aren't messed up, but either way, I'm going to try to find another one of these. All right, it took me a bit, but I realized I could kind of turn down the end of a socket and get a little bit better bite on there. And then, uh, I think I'm gonna put my impact on there and just just go with it. But uh, CJ guys are probably turning over in their grave. But it looks like you gotta modify a socket. Thankfully, I have a bunch of old sockets laying around, so no biggie. All right. So as you can see, there's there was definitely no gasket on there, um, and then there is uh, definitely no gasket on here, and that's a straight thread. And there is no pipe, dope, or anything on it. So. Um, that is understood uh yeah so i would assume that while this was driving it was throwing uh fluid up into here so we're going to try to go back on there with something i would assume it would be some kind of copper or nylon um but we're going to go on there with something i don't i don't know what all right we're going to put a healthy amount of thread locker on this one too this is a tapered pipe tap but it's uh, bottomed out completely so um, we're gonna put some on here thread that in we're gonna put some on there and uh we'll do that like that and then we'll put this back in All right, I got quite a bit on there because I'm hoping that it just seals up real nice. And then I'll wipe off any extra. 
And this can be done in the vehicle now that I kind of know what I'm dealing with. But we'll tighten this up real good. All right, I got a little bit of extra RTV on each side of that gasket that I made. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in. Um, all these bolts go into the oil cavity of the transfer case, so they're all gonna have to have a sealant put on them. Uh, other than that, this should go back together. I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret here if your wife says that she wants to spend some time together I know your first instinct is that spending time together in the garage is a good thing that's not what she means she might come hang out with you in the garage but that's not what she wants so uh, when they do say that they want to spend some time together you're gonna want to do something you know a little special maybe take her to a little classy classier place you know classier than the garage so uh, so that's what we're gonna do today one thing my wife loves to do is uh, she loves to pretend that she doesn't like riding in the willies, but she does. So she just uh, she just likes to pretend. Oh, and I tell you one thing, when I coated this with linseed oil, I did not realize that it dried. Like I don't know why, but I thought that it just sort of stayed wet. So I've got linseed oil everywhere on the windows, and it doesn't come off. So I'm gonna have to get scraping on it or something. But for now, I guess we'll. We'll make it through, but uh, we'll get my wife's impressions of what she thinks of it. I know you want to take the willies. Some of you guys might be asking, why are you messing with the CJ and the Willie so much? Why don't you work on Old Red there in the background? I don't know. They're my Jeeps. I can do whatever I want. I can work on whichever ones I want to work on. can tell you these two get the most play right now. Uh, just that, with the exception of my wife's and my son's Jeeps. Uh, anyways, we're going to close this thing up. Maybe, maybe go for a little cruise. Uh, I guess. Just to see uh, how that clutch is, I, not really, not really feeling it, but whatever. All right, so it's first day of 2022, and uh, my goal for this year is going to be to use the Jeeps more and work on them less. But I think the more I use the Jeeps, the more I'll have to work on them. So I'm not sure how it's gonna work out if I thought it through all the way yet. But one of my first projects of this year, I definitely need some help on. So in my willies for eight years, when I'm pushing the clutch, 
the slave cylinder slowly creeps its way out over time and it'll hold the clutch off of the disc and eventually my clutch just starts slipping I've never really been able to figure it out I kind of matched up the slave uh, to the master later I put on a bigger master cylinder so they should both be the same I'm not sure why it creeps like that but um, just if anybody has any idea just you know shoot me something because I'm pretty much at a loss um, but I kind of show you like what I got to do stuff so anyways I'm um, gonna gonna do a little bit of work it out here in the garage today and uh, that's about it.